Jamila Effendi. We are architecture student of Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia. In this video, we would like to explain about Viva Oyong Jago Putama Tower Architecture. Happy watching! Peka Oyong Jago Putama Tower is part of the Multimedia Nusantara University which is located at Scientia Boulevard Street, Gading, Serpong District, Tangerang, Banten. This building was designed by architect Budiman Hendro Purnomo and was inaugurated on September 27, 2017. He applied energy-saving principles to build environmental sustainability. This tower is an expression of gratitude for the increasing trust of the Indonesian people in UMN as the University of Choice for 10 years of existence. PK Oyong Jago Putama Tower has 19 floors with a building height of 80 meters and a total building area of 42 and 500 meters square which can accommodate more than 5,000 people. Apart from classrooms, this building also has many other facilities that will support student activities in study at UMN. Some of these facilities include the lecture theater, which can accommodate up to 500 people, laboratories for various study programs at UMN, hospitality laboratories, libraries which are also equipped with collection in the form of ebooks and e-journals, canteen, and also there are discussion room, compass corner, Roof garden which is usually used as a place to refresh and discuss and the unique one is indoor sports facilities such as futsal and badminton cards located on the top floor of PK Oyong Jako Putama Tower. PK Oyong Jako Putama Tower applies a passive design like its predecessor, the new media tower, which won first place in the energy efficient building tropical building category at the 2014 ASEAN Energy Award. Then, PK Oyong Jako Putama Tower won an award, namely the first runner-up energy efficient building in the 2019 ASEAN Energy Award. The use of the passive design allows a significant reduction in electricity consumption in buildings. PK Oyong Jako Putama Tower uses a double skin facade that will control the intensity of light and heat from the sun entering the room so that the room is bright and cool enough. Thus, the use of air conditioners can be reduced. The outer facade is made of aluminum with holes. These holes are arranged with large holes in the south and north and small holes in the east and west. The coolness in Peko Oyong Jako Putama Tower is also supported by natural air circulation throughout your gardens into several building locations. Chimneys are made to connect the basement with the roof garden and the lobby with the roof garden. The air chimney that takes advantage of the difference in air freezer makes the basement of Peko Oyong Jako Putama Tower doesn't require an excess fan and can reduce the use of air conditioning in the lobby. This chimney also functions for natural lightning in the basement and lobby. Apart from implementing the passive design, the PK Oyong Jako Putama Tower also uses the latest technology to reduce overall energy use. These technologies include the use of LED lights and magnetic chillers. Compared to the electric chiller used by New Media Tower, the magnetic chiller can reduce electrical energy consumption by up to 30% when measured with the same wall. The UMN building also implements a wastewater recycle system for watering plants, flushing toilets, and the room cooling systems functioning. Green open lane, will shaded trees, is also maximized to promote environmentally friendly comfort. So, those are some of the advantages of Multimedia Nusantara University. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.